Hello, my name is Dan Anderson. Today I will replace the thermostat in my Armadillo backpack trailer with a digital thermostat. The one I chose is this Honeywell thermostat. It has two temperature indications. One is the temperature and another is your temperature setting for your furnace. And it has nice simple controls, plus and minus. And it allows me for a lot more precise controls in the thermostat that comes with the trailer, which is this analog thermostat, because if you just bump it a little bit, it's a drastic change in, in temperature. Um, so it's very hard to, to preset. So let's look at our thermostat here. Let's see what I got in the mail. Ordered this from Amazon, but you get it from other places. And you can also get other thermostats according to your liking. You don't want to get too much because, for example, I have no AC, so it doesn't have any, well, no sense of having fancy AC controls. Although this, this does support both heating and cooling, it involves more wires. It's also, also non programmable. Um, that makes it a lot easier, too. If you need a programmable one, it takes more wires and I don't think a programmable one works off of batteries. This uses, um, I think, two AA batteries um, instead of having some extra wires. So this just makes it real easy to set up and wire. I'd rather not have the batteries, but uh, I'd also rather not tear my trailer apart. Um, just have a couple more wires to power the thermostat. So, here it is. Here's the thermostat. Let's see, it should fit in right about, yeah, right about here. What else does it come with? Um, the warning, do not return to the store. And you notice there's no mercury. Oh, this is nice. Wiring labels mark the wires. We just have two. I already marked the, the black or red wire, the, po the positive wire. And we have underneath a wall plate. Here, so this is screwed into the wall plate. And then you just fit the thermostat on top like that. And some anchoring screws, but I'm going to reuse the screws that came with the um, trailer, the square screws, just to be consistent. Finally, it has instructions on how to set up and use the thermostat. It's, let's see, it's in English and Spanish. Uh, no French, sorry. So I, I did a quick search on the web and there are French directions um, and also English. I'll give you links for those um, instructions um, and you can download them and read them ahead of time before you order them, which is convenient. And also save it on your computer so you don't lose it. The first thing you do is remove the fuse for the furnace. So it's down here. Um, under the table for four next to the furnace um, by the sink. Let's see if I can focus on this here. Focus is not, there it is. So, furnace is next to the bottom one here. Just take my fuse puller, use some pliers, gently pull it out. And there it is. Let's start by taking off the old thermostat. So first we remove the cover. Just gently lift off the cover. And you'll see inside uh, it has a, a cycle setting first of all here. So just note that down here it's the cycle is how long it cycles when it turns on. So longer cycles means it just first just stays on longer. Shorter cycles just means it goes on and off faster. So here it's set at the max, which is 
1.2. It has two wires coming in. So, and you'll notice the top one is marked R for red. Bottom one is marked W for white. So what I do is I take a marker pen and mark the red one, the marker pen, just so I could distinguish the two. And and I'm 12 volt wiring. Traditionally, white is negative, and and red or black is positive. And also, you'll need a um. I have an S1 bit here. That's with the, all these screws, or most of them in the trailer are these square bits, and this is an S1 bit. So I'll be taking this off and showing you. So I I took off the backing plate, and you see it has two wires coming in. I need to take that off with the slotted screwdriver. We now have the thermostat removed. Here it is down here. You put everything back together, screws back in, and put the plate on just so it's all together there and just set it aside. So I labeled the wires using the Labels that came in a box here. This is, you have lots of wires, but we just have a simple system with white, which is negative or ground, and the black or red. I also mark that one, which is positive, with the black marker there. I just have to clip off these um, connectors here because the the Honeywell thermostat I'll show you here has several connectors and the way you do it is you just press down on these let's focus here press down on these and you could see that it, maybe you could see to get to focus you press down on these it opens up And we just have two, as I said, though, the white or negative. And where is the red or positive here? And we also have some holes here for the, the screws to mount the, the base plate. So I, I moved a hole to the right here just so I make room for the thermostat. See, I have a light on the left, with which I added a, um, I replaced it with a light that has a USB plug in it, um, but there's just not enough room um, for both thermostat and that, so I had to move this hole here for the thermostat to the right, so now it will fit right here and not be in the way of the USB plug for the night light. I also snipped I'm going to need to strip the centimeter or quarter inch off these wires to go into a new um, thermostat. You just snip these um, ring connectors off. I'm mounting the um, base plate for the new thermostat. The screws that comes with the thermostat are just way too long. Compare length here. With these screws that came with the old thermostat. And if you try to use the new screws, they would just go through into the cabinet. So don't use those. Now, the, the old thermostat just came with two screws, and you need three for this one. So you just have to find an old screw um, that's short. It's like the centimeter or quarter inch or something like that, that will not be too long, but go through the the cabinet there. I had the white wire connected there. I had to strip away some of the strands. This wire is more th thicker than necessary, so it's fine. So here we connect the red one um, by inserting it there while pressing down on this button on the right. So I installed the base plate and it's far enough from my reading lamp and USB 
So you can close this now and you can simply mount it like that. But before you do that, you need to um, insert the batteries. It doesn't come with batteries and, and program it. Um, so we'll show how to do that next. After inserting the batteries, batteries turn around, you should have either the temperature display or a menu. If, um, if it's not the first time, you get temperature. So let's, if you want to enter the setup menu, you press menu for five seconds. And you get several options, and each option has a number. And they're explained on page nine of the manual here. See if it gets into focus. Yeah, so for 125 there, it sees zeros Fahrenheit and one is Celsius. So you could cycle between zero Fahrenheit, one Celsius, Fahrenheit, Celsius. That's usually the only one you want to do, if at all. So you could also go to the next one, continue, but we're done with setup. So we press done and you'll see it changes it to Celsius. So with the thermostat all programmed and set up, um, we could insert it into the base plug there. And there it is. So let's test it and see if it works. Well, first let's set it to temperature. It's kind of warm right now. It's going to get warmer today. It's going to be um, 97 Fahrenheit or 30. 36 Celsius. Um, <laughs> I guess today would be a test to see how warm and torturous you could make yourself in um, the trailer. Although last week I was camping and it was freezing at night. So pick your weather. So let's let's see for menu. Let's go to the menu here, simple menu. And you can have the mode, heat, heater on, cooler on, which we don't have a cooler, but more important for us is we can have it off if you want. So let's turn it to the heat mode. Um, actually, the temperature is 82. So let's say, let's press done, so the heater is on. The nice thing about this thermostat is, is it has a back, backlight, so you could um, use, this, use this at night. So let's turn heat up. 76, how about a nice toasty 86 degrees, yes. There's a preview of what's coming later today. Okay, the next step is to re-enable the thermostat here um, by just reinserting the fuse for the furnace. It's just these um, blade type fuses, 15 amp. And for me, it's it's the fourth item from the top or next to the bottom, second from the bottom. Just put it in here quickly. There it is. Put the cover plate on. The cover plate swings up from the right here. Right there, snaps on. Left side, by the way, is for the um, AC 120 volt. And usually those are fuses and you usually don't need to bother with that stuff. Well, after waiting a few minutes, the furnace kicked on. You could hear it. It's a nice 83 degrees. I had had the thermostat set, set up to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, um, which it's going to get that hot anyway. Why not? Why not um, have the torture sooner? So, actually, it's just for testing. But let's look at the thermostat here. The thermostat right now is 83 degrees. Well, it's no thermostat is set to 90 degrees. That's the top button, and right now it's 83 degrees. And when you press it, the backlight comes on, and you can always increase it, except 90 is the highest it will go. 
you can always decrease it to a more reasonable value like I don't know 68 or actually usually I have it like at 60 because when I'm camping I have warm clothes on or at night at 50 when I'm in the bag at 50 is a nice temperature but of course it's all your personal preference so that's it and now it should turn off since it's set down to a reasonable temperature.